Good afternoon, class. Today, what we're going to be working on is refining the block-in that we did in the first two stages. So assignment number one was to create four very general envelope block-in drawings. We're going to take one of those drawings now and we're going to refine that block-in. So I'm going to uh, use one of the drawings and begin the process. Uh, the first thing I have to do is to check because each photocopy is slightly different. So that means width, maybe even height is slightly different. So we're going to go and kind of scan the drawing, um, make some preliminary adjustments um, before we actually jump into the general block in. I'm going to speed up the video um, so I can get through this part here and the video won't be so long. Let's get started. Okay, class, so I'm going to start measuring and just checking to see if height and width are the same. Um, I can see that there are a few discrepancies, angle shifts and things like that. I'm going to start with the general shape, so the chest cavity. So it's saying that the chest cavity should be somewhere here. I'm going to measure from the clavicle down. One coordinate yields two lines, so this is going in this direction. And then this one looks like it connects with this line. So we're just changing the angle. So I probably went from here to here initially. And now I'm starting to refine that block in. We're gonna speed up the video that way. Okay, so I've almost finished doing the first pass of the refined block in. You may have noticed that I'm constantly checking height to width relationship and I'm not committed to any one thing. So once I've done this pass all the way through, what I would do is go back and start checking and making sure that what I thought was right is right. So height to width, all of that, all of those variables need to um, be refined, adjusted um, until it appears correct. So you can see that I'm measuring across the form. I'm also measuring lengths. I'm finding angles. So all of these play the role and you have to be pretty vigilant and not commit to any one thing until you have multiple um, confirmations that it is accurate. So um, also you may have noticed that the line quality is a little bit darker than 
what I would recommend and that is because I'm using a 6B in order for the video to come out uh, more clearly. So just keep that in mind. You guys will be working with an HB pencil. So the next stage would be going into the refined contour line. Um, and I think actually we have one more block in stage, which is just refining and adding a little bit more information than what we have. All right, so that's the demo for today. That's what you're going to be working on. I'm just gonna clean up, make sure all my fingerprints lighten this up just a little bit.